What's guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're reacting to the seventh episode of Vivi Fluorite Eyes Song. This one's titled Galaxy Anthem to Make Everyone Happy with My Singing. Which was the very first episode title. Now, the first one was My Code. This one's Galaxy Anthem. So there is a slight difference, but it's still to make everyone happy with my singing, which is the original purpose of our creation, essentially. Um, so that's interesting that we've gone back to that. I assume that's almost certainly intentional. I want, I don't think they're going to... No, they can't keep that theme up, but I think it's very much intentional that we're going back to the first episode in some way. Uh, I'm assuming we're getting another time skip, because we usually have time skips after these double episode of parts. Uh, we had the 15 year time skip to get to the space hotel, then we had another 5 years to get to uh, the... Um, AI Factory the Metal Float, of which we sort of, well, yeah, we dealt with uh, at the end of the last episode, um, which really was a messed up one, but it, it's, it plays to the show of strengths in how messed up it actually was, um, with the uh, Grace that uh, was accompanying uh, the, the guy was just there to house the real Grace when she came back from Metal Float, because, or was the Metal Float was shut down, because the Metal Float is actually... His Grace, the one he fell in love with, that was used as the core for this new uh, factory. Another deviation from the original timeline as well. Um, and it just goes to show how our actions are really, really starting to mess with the timelines. To the, to the point where Matsumoto really is starting to lose control of the situation. Which is kind of interesting. Uh, we got to see him in cube format as well. Uh, which is obviously nice. Um, yeah, but ultimately... Ultimately, it ended up with us killing the real Grace just to shut down Metal Vlope because that's our mission. We must proceed for this mission, whether it means killing another AI or not. And then the guy also commits suicide. Now, I'm annoyed I didn't see it coming because he had the gun and he just lost the only person... Well, yeah, the only person he had in his heart at that point and thought, I might as well end it here. And yeah, I'm curious to see the aftermath of what happens with uh, Vivi in that regard. Because I feel like there is something to happen there. But I'm curious how much of that's going to be shown if we are going to get a time skip, you know? I I'm kind of curious which direction they go with this. The fact that we've reverted to the first episode title has me concerned. Um, but I guess we'll see what ends up happening. And also Galaxy Anthem. I have no idea where that's going. Absolutely no idea. But anyway, I I'm excited. This and 86 have been... This has been a very, very, very big surprise of the season. Like, I did not expect this from what was originally announced. 86 has very much uh, delivered on what I was ex uh, hoping from it. This completely blew my expectations away. And then you've also got things like Shadow's House, which has also met my expectations of what I wanted from the show. But this is the biggest surprise, I think, so far. Is it the biggest surprise of the season? I'd have to go through the entire list. I'm not going to do that right now because I just want to sit down and watch the show. I'm running a little late already. And I don't want to be uh, I don't want to be screwing my uh, schedule over too much. So, going to do the episode up here. As per usual, these are time-based format reactions here on YouTube. If you want to see the full picture and picture, go to my Patreon down in the description below. £4 a month gets you access to all picture and picture reactions I do on the channel, which is everything from the current seasonal lineup, as well as Patreon request shows such as World Trigger, Simphagigi and Lock Horizon Season 2. You can find my full schedule on my Discord. I've got it all laid out there as to when the videos come out, etc. Um, we also have movie reactions available on the channel. Uh, uh, Kiki's Delivery Service won this month's poll, so we'll be doing that movie at uh, some point this month. It'll either be on a Monday or Saturday, since that's the most free time I have on uh, on my schedule. Uh, more, than likely a, more than likely a Monday. Uh, but we'll see when it ends up uh, fitting. It won't be this Monday, I can guarantee that, and it probably won't be this Saturday either, but never say never. Uh, but, um, yeah, you can find my uh, backlog of movies on Patreon as well as on my YouTube for the time of format. Speaking of YouTube, uh, we do time-based uh, formats here. So bottom left of the screen, you'll see a time of the episode. I'll count down three to one play, then on play, you start the episode, I start the episode, and we should be in sync. We are watching this one on Funimation as per usual since they licensed it. We have the Anaplex logo and then the Funimation logo to start, so it's about 12 seconds of logos give or take. I'll call them out as I go past, but you can also use screen flash on my face, the mic, or this part of my headset to tell when the scenes are transitioning. So, with all that said, let's get into uh, this week's episode, shall we? In 3, 2, 1, play. Anaplex. 
Funimation. Cheers. Here we go. Oh, here we are. Yeah, my popularity is still growing. Okay. Okay. Different attitude to her. This is a different song as well, isn't it? I think. I late. And look how the you can tell technology's gone as, as well because like the actual androids they're making are much more human than the previous ones. So yeah, we've definitely had a time skip. She seems different. She really does. Okay. Completely different vibe. Completely different vibe. Is even the same character at this point. Hmm. Wow. Completely different character. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, clunker. Uh huh. Oh. Huh. There <laughs> is a different person at this point. Re okay. So... She was rebooted, has lost a lot of memories of that time before then. But she does remember some things, like the calculator bit. But most of it's gone. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Bridge, yeah. Playing a new song, I guess. Performance. Goals being called Diva.
Yep. It's an interesting building structure. Okay, to my right, okay. <laughs> the hell just happened? Ophelia, okay. Okay, this is going to be an important character later, I bet. Youngest of the sisters, okay. Very small thing, okay. It all comes back to the sisters in the end, doesn't it? I mean, you are. Wow, okay. 61 years old. <laughs> yes. Bring up her production date. That fits. How old was Vivi at that point in the story? I don't know. 61's old, though. Hmm. Oh, I like that effect with the dress. No oh boy. Hmm. 
Who's that? I'll start change. What? Wait, what? Okay. How could it be him? How can it be him? We've gone through many time skips. I feel like we've gone through another one, so why? Where are we being led? We're obviously being led somewhere. Oh, we're being disposed of. And there's the combat program immediately. Just kicks in. Without realizing. Yep. Oh boy. Matsumoto, is he here? The cube is back. Sure. Com yep, does not know Matsumoto anymore. Hmm. Hmm. Don't even remember the name Vivi. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> uh poor Ophelia. Why was she there though? I guess went looking for her after she ran off, yeah. Right. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Yeah. Just completely brushes it off, okay. Okay. Start on the questions some more about.
Sure. <laughs> Sure. Okay. Oh, so you're going to jump to see if... <laughs> she actually did it. <laughs> Jesus. Yep. <laughs> Double action scene, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting away. Oh, okay, they're here. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Interesting how we're not trying to get her back. Right. Why does she do that clear thing so often? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we sound like we sound bad, don't we? <laughs> yep. That required the reboot and everything. Except you kind of have at this point. And that's a challenge to her. <laughs> okay. The entire history, huh? And it gets involved anyway. Mm hmm. Right, because there's a bit that I know I don't know. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. First time an AI takes its own life. Interesting. Interesting. That was the entire episode? Jesus. Actually went really quick. That very much felt like a setup episode though, and I like that. We're taking a little calm before the storm. Because man, it's been stormy for a couple of episodes. <laughs> yeah, that guy looks like Toat guy, right? But how long has the time skip been? I She's 61. How old was she before? I have no idea. I don't remember. I do not remember her age. If we saw a date, maybe I could work around it, because I think we've seen dates before. But I don't remember her age, necessarily. Alright. Next time on. Ophelia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, episode 8 title was. Let me go back to it real quick. Funimation player, please. Uh, uh, energy dedicated with love, my one and only beloved partner. My one and only beloved partner? Why partner? Interesting. Don't know why it's partner. I mean... I mean... There is... There is... Now, the only reason I'm thinking this now is because they said partner. There is a likeness to her and Grace. Just gonna put it out there. Like, I know they're the sisters model and they do vaguely look alike anyway. Well, Estella didn't because she was blonde. But... There is, a va there is quite a likeness to Ophelia and Grace. Like... Same black type of hair, same brown eyes. There is a likeness, and bringing the beloved partner into it makes me question that. But how... I don't know how there could be a link to Grace in that instance. I don't think there's going to be a link to Grace. But it just seems, like, too coincidental. Especially to bring beloved partner in. Because why... why My one and only beloved partner. Unless they're... Again, they're bringing the love thing in, but I don't think that's meant to refer to Matsumoto, because Vivi and Matsumoto don't love each other. It's not like a relationship-based thing. But... Yeah, I, I just see there there is a similarity there, and I wonder if they are going to play on that at all for this episode. Hmm... How old was Vi how old was she? I 
I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. I don't know how old she was from the very beginning. I know that the deadline is in a hundred years. But that doesn't help answer my question as to how much of a time skip we've gone through. I, I know we've gone through a time skip because we've been rebooted and we're back up on the main stage and time's gone past. We know she's 61 as of now. How old was she during the other instance? I have no idea. So if anyone happens to know what age she would have been, or if, like vaguely, like, is it a smaller time skip like uh, uh, after Sunrise where it's only like five years, or is it a longer one like the very first one? I'm assuming it's going to be... Actually, I don't know what I would assume. I assume it's going to be slightly long, considering... Well, considering the advancement in that all AI manufacturing seem to be more human, then maybe... Maybe it has been a bit of a longer time skip. But I don't know how... I don't know how long. But an AI committing suicide. Okay, so... Yeah, we've gone through a lot of gone through a lot of instances here. We've had AIs falling in love for the first time and being married for the first time. We're doing suicide for the first time now. Um, we obviously had them killings. We've had kill, marry, suicide. What other major steps are there now left to explore that would be monumental firsts for? an AI to undertake that would really question AI versus humanity. What else is left of major events? I don't actually know. I guess directly killing, like direct murder, as opposed to just crashing a ship that happens to have people on it. I guess actually performing the murder themselves would be something. I wonder if they've militarized this, by the way. Like, have they militarized androids like this? Because that was... If they haven't... Why haven't they, quite honestly? Like, no nation... No nation is... Pure and... Like... No nation would not consider it. Every nation on Earth... If they were given the technology of androids... Today... Every nation on Earth, I think, would try and militarize that. Rather rapidly. Like... The US would absolutely do it, just so they can be one of the first ones, because they don't want to fall behind. UK would do it just because we don't want to fall behind either, in, in a vague attempt to maintain some form of power over people. Um, a lot of major European nations would do it as well, because they don't want to be left out. Um, dictatorships, uh, particularly like North Korea and stuff, they would absolutely rush it. Uh, China would probably want to pursue it as well, to, in, in order to become a more of a global power than they already are. Uh, Japan would probably do it in the interest of self-defense. I mean, even, even, like, African nations, South American nations, even they would, would try and militarize it to gain some form of upper hand on the larger nations that have maybe bullied them and such, and maybe bring some prosperity to their lands that previously they have not been allowed, uh, after centuries of after centuries of what the rest of Europe and America has done to them. Um, but I kind of find it interesting that we haven't explored any of that. I, f I feel like that might be the next major story is AI military. Because we haven't really discussed that too much. We've had like service AI and singing AI, but nothing military. Which is questionable. And we've seen they can be used as weapons because the the... Those AIs on a metal float became torpedoes and rockets and shit. So we know there is a desire to be aggressive and for it to work as combat AI. We've had guard AIs, but we haven't had the express purpose of killing other androids or humans. I guess that might be a bit of a legislative nightmare trying to... How do you make an AI that is capable of killing a human? I think that's where, like, the fear mongering of, like, well, what stopping the AIs from just killing us anyway? And, you know, so. But yeah, preventing Ophelia from committing suicide. 
Why she would commit suicide, I don't know. Maybe it has something to tie in with the beloved partner. Maybe she is going through love issues of some description. I don't know. I guess we'll see uh, what uh, ends up happening. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one as per usual. Leave a like if you did, as well as your comments what you thought the episode. Don't forget to subscribe as well to see next week's episode, as well as the rest of the Spring 2021 Lightning Fight here on the channel. Thank you for watching. Till next time. See you guys later.